So we're going to walk down the infamous Nana area in Bangkok. Normally this place is filled with people. I mean, it's packed. Right now it's dead because of COVID. But this is the street you go on for pretty much all night drinking. Nana Plaza it's closed. You see. clothes but there's no customers I've already had a few people cover their faces as I'm walking by. I'm not sure if I should be recording in this area. Funny enough, it's the locals who are covering their faces and not the foreigners.
walking down Nana, or I'm not sure what the exact name of the street is, but this is the red light district of Bangkok from from what I know, I don't know if there's more than one, but this is a popular one with uh, with expats, which are, you know, foreigners who now live in this country, uh, visitors and so on. I was told this was a uh, really, really busy place. And I remember coming here back in 2005 and it was uh, just packed. <laughs> We're talking thousands of people on this one street. And now it's just dozens. Got this damn filter on. <laughs> it's messing up my video. So, let's see if I can... So, uh, Thailand's hit been, it's been hit pretty hard. Unlike the states where I came from, uh, there are no social services to help out people who have lost their jobs, who have lost their businesses. It's really tough, and it's even worse in other parts of the country, at least here in Bangkok. Uh, there is some normalcy uh, in the area. Other parts of Bangkok are just bone dry. A lot of places have shuttered. Uh, these people need help uh, as far as staying in business. And not on this street, but a lot of other streets I've gone to, it's just, you know, just shuttered businesses all up and down the streets.